Hi guys, my name is Stephanie. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing two products from the Dollar Tree. They are beauty products. One is the Revel Scilla Sponge Beauty Blender and the other is a silicone face mask applicator. I'm going to be testing these out today. So if you like videos like this, stay tuned and keep watching. I want to start by saying thank you so far for all the love and support. I am almost at 500 subscribers and I'm so thankful to all of my subscribers for the support so far. I'm hoping to make some new amazing YouTube friends. Guys, please help me get to 500 subscribers. The first product I'm going to be reviewing is the Revel Scilla Sponge Beauty Blender. These are silicone uh, beauty blenders. These are different from your average sponge beauty blender. I am very much a fan of the sponge beauty blender. I've used the silicone blender before and I didn't love it as much as the sponge, but these are from the Dollar Tree, you guys, so I figured I'll try them. It's something new and I'll test them out and let you guys know how I like them. Okay guys, so starting with the packaging, I actually really like the packaging. It's very pretty, it's rose gold, really cute. And on the back, it just pretty much tells you how it's different from your normal sponge beauty blender, which is basically that it won't soak up as much foundation or any foundation for that matter because it's not as porous as a sponge. It's kind of like a little chicken cutlet gel-like uh, silicone blender. I'm going to put some foundation on this and we're gonna try it out. I'm gonna use my NYX can't stop, won't stop. And I'm just going to apply a little bit to the uh, blender here. I'm actually not hating it. It's not too bad. I'm not wiping it, I'm dabbing it to just make sure it gets all in there the same as I would with a beauty blender. Honestly, you guys, it really is coated pretty well. And there really isn't that much on the blender. So it does waste less product, I guess. And this is a pretty good one. I pretty much think all silicone beauty blenders are the same. I just wanted to see if the Dollar Tree one was any worse or any better, but it's actually just as good as any other silicone blender that I've used. So if you like silicone blenders, I recommend getting it. The next thing I'm going to be reviewing is this silicone face mask applicator, which currently I just use a normal uh, makeup brush for my um, face mask applications. I've never used a silicone brush for my face mask applications. Okay, so this is how it looks, you guys. It's bendy. It's just a silicone brush, it seems like. And honestly, it kind of feels like a rubber spatula um, that you use to scrape the bowl when you cook. So this is probably going to work awesome for applying a face mask. So I'm going to try it out. The mask that I'm going to be using today is the L'Oreal Pure Clay Mask. And as you guys can see... It is a green mask. I dig into it quite a bit. So it's very thick and very creamy and we're gonna see how this applies right now. I'm just gonna go in with the rubber applicator. And as I said, it scraped perfectly to the bottom. Like I my arm so much, I'm going to use the front of my arm for this application. really really happy with that actually and it's going to be so easy to clean this you just rinse it in water and you can use it again for any kind of mask you don't have to only use it for one mask or have gunk in your brush i'm loving this and if you see this at your dollar tree you have to pick this up so overall today you guys i love both of these products i'm so excited that they had these at the dollar tree i feel like dollar tree is getting better and better at their beauty section because they're realizing how much of a high demand uh there is for beauty products now and makeup and all that fun stuff that we freaking love Thank you guys so much for watching this product review. Please remember to like and subscribe. I love you guys. You're beautiful with or without makeup. Take care of yourself, our world, and each other, and I'll see you next time.